Now, I am not a financial guru. I am by no means wealthy. I would say I have a decent understanding of how you should invest money. But I am by no means an expert. But it doesn't take an expert to realize if somebody tries to sell you a house for 10 grand, they are, they are part of a secret organization trying to kill you. In the basement of the house. Welcome back to Cheap House, where I am going to continue to point out everything wrong with my character's line of thinking. A house for 10 grand is too good of a deal. There could be monsters in the basement. I can't go that way. 10 grand, this guy thought it would be a good idea to buy a house for 10 grand. Friend. And who the fuck are you? Chill. I am a friend. My name is Piero. Hi, Piero. And I can help you to escape. You only need to listen to me. See this chest? Grab the rifle from it. It's really useful for you. Then, find the prison control room. We will meet there. Again. Why should I trust you? How do I escape from this fucking hell? Because there is no other option unless you want to stuck here forever or die. Listen, I really want to help you. By the way, I can give you some ammunition, but not for free. Bring me some documents so we can trade. What are these documents? Where I can find them? And why do you need them? These documents are expensive outside of the Umbra Corporation. In exchange for them, I'll get you some useful equipment. If I knew where they were, I wouldn't ask you to find them. I think they're scattered throughout the whole complex. Lovely. Ooh, document. Nice. Yeah, this dude, this character's an idiot. Like, somebody trying to sell you... Ooh, ammo. Nice. Somebody trying to sell you a house for 10 grand, 10 grand, has a serious motive. They may just want to kill you. There may be black mold. There may be any number of issues with this house. 10 grand, this guy's an idiot. Oh, they substituted out some of the sound in this pack. That's nice. I really like that. Prison gate. So that just must be the way out. No problem. Nice. Documents. God, this, this game is so... This is such a good map. I am... I mean, there's going to be jump scares in it, and I recognize that, but I also respect that... Oh, come on! A water challenge area? you got to be kidding me. Oh, we're also in the nether somehow? Ah, crap. Oh, my. Sweet Christ Jesus Lord. Why did I try that? All right, once more. There we go. There we go. Look at that. So easy a caveman can do it. There's like there's nothing in this room that I can interact with. What's that? Uh. 
Oh, yep, document. I'm gonna have to go into combat very soon. I just... I just know I'm gonna have to go into prologue and combat with something scary. Although that actually introduces another principle of game design that I that I kind of like. If the monster is terrifying, but you can kill it, you have a way of fighting back, it kind of ceases to be terrifying. It's, I feel like, again, I'm probably taking a lot of these points from people way smarter than me. But I feel like if you're trying to kill something, And it's pretty much futile. Like, that's more terrifying. That no matter what you do, no matter how hard you struggle, the entity or whatever you're going up against uh, can't be beat. This, I'm going to take a minute here. This texture pack is very well designed. I don't know if this is something that uh, this Minecraft team came up with. Or something that they kind of borrowed pieces of. But this is... This is a, a very good pack. Okay, which pathway to doom... That almost got me. That was that was good. That was good. God, that really is a face only a mother could love. I look kind of like I'm slanted weird on my uh, on my chair. I don't know. Oh, hello. I don't like holes in walls behind planks. <laughs> that was good. That was good. I knew it had to be coming. Also, I think I wasted an ammo. Did I waste an ammo? No, I didn't. Nice, even better. Oh, control room switch. What can this be placed on? Oh! Okay. The game is afoot. I will give you, yes, machete and a, all right, I got glow sticks. Oh, nice. I can just throw those in the offhand. Hell yeah. Now let's see. Which one's a heal? That's a strong heal. God, that was an awful heal. Okay. So now I've got this switch. Chiseled nether brick? I don't see any chiseled nether brick. I have a feeling that now I'm about to go through this whole area... whole area again. I don't actually know if I have to trek through here, but now I just have a feeling that it's going to be filled with uh, uh, creatures of the night, monsters, you know. Cool stuff. These heals kind of suck, not going to lie.
Hmm. I gotta go there. Makes sense. Oh, not that room. Now that I know that the monsters are out, I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit on edge. Like that, yeah. Oh, you see what they've done now? They've got me looking around these corners. All fearful and stuff. Yeah, that's, that's good. Was a shortcut the whole time. Now I'm angry. Now I'm upset with myself. Oh, just had a thought. Remember that, um, ow, stop it, stop it. I'm very low on health now. I've got ammo, I've got documents, I got a control room switch. Let's just Pedro! I'm glad that you made it there Piero. alive. Did you bring some documents? I have new useful equipment for you. By the way, by opening these doors you can get to the surface. But you have to go through the sewers. Find me there. I will help. Oh, a save point. That's lovely. Thank you. Thank you. You are truly a scholar and a gentleman. Maybe. Oh, two documents. Wait. Did he say I have to go through the sewer? Did you all see that monster that started coming at me? Where was it? There it is. Hello, friend. God, that really is only a face a mother could love, isn't it? Hmm. Boiling blood, fantastic. I would expect nothing less. We're conducting an experiment that will allow us to resurrect the dead. For 10 grand? Nice. Uh, anything good? What the hell? Oh no. And this is where the Resident Evil twist comes in. Oh uh, boy. Oh no. So now... So now there's going to be a monster just running around here that I can't hurt. Oh, hello again. Patient number 22. Hello. Looks like you really want to leave. Yeah. I do understand that for sure, but you have to understand that I can't let you to escape too. So, die. There's something out there. Oh. Ah, you caught me. You caught me, Skippy. 
So it looks like... Hold on, so that's like a run sequence here. So I have to get around this dude. I get it. I'm about to try some I'm about to try some sneaky stuff here. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I wanna outsmart this guy. Oh nope, I can't outsmart him. The absolute mad lad can open up doors and stuff. Come on. Ah, damn it. Ah, he's a lot faster than I give him credit for. All right, one more shot. One more shot here. We got this. I think I get it now. I need to hide in the... Uh... There we go. Ah, shoot, he caught up to me again. Okay, all right, all right, all right. You win, you win, all right. When we come back next time, we're going to explore this map a little bit more and all that it has to offer. Thank you all very much for watching. I will see you all in the next episode. <laughs>